Hey everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm gonna do a weekend steamer. Yeah, let's see what's going on for the weekend. This is for, what is today's date? The 24th, 25th, and 26th of July. Okay, so it's like the last weekend of the month. I hope everybody has been doing pretty good. Um, I wanna shuffle up, call in our team, and uh, let's we'll get it popping, right? Angels, spirit, spirit guides, if I can get it going here. Yeah. Um, this is for all signs. Anyone that wants to come in on the energy. Yeah. Our higher selves. Archangels. Love and light. What do you have? What do you want to show us? What can be revealed? Okay. So, let's get it together. I want to put out some oracle cards. Um, well, not as many. I'm going to do tarot and then oracle cards. Yeah. So, how are y'all doing? What y'all got planned for the weekend, huh? What y'all got going on? Last weekend, it was pretty exciting for some people. Y'all were talking to me in the comments. I appreciate that a lot. Okay. Let's see. What's the main energy for the weekend? And I might just pull from the top because I don't want to take too much time. We're already at two minutes. What do you have for the, let's go ahead and cut it. I'm going to cut it and roll with it. Okay, there's the ace, ace of swords. Hmm. Some truth being revealed. Okay, all right. Seven of cups on the bottom. That's like um, imagination. Wishful thinking, hopeful thinking, hopeful. Um, I think that's the word, the phrase that I was trying to think of for the Virgos. Um, anyway, justice is the main energy out. Okay, okay, so this is good. This is good. Whatever, okay, so what I'm thinking is something is going to be put right. Some imbalance is going to be put back right. And... It could be something that's been in the works for a long time. Tell me what y'all got going on, huh? All right, let's see what the challenge is. Three of Wands. Okay, so Three of Wands, this is this is kind of like collaboration energy. It's um the Three of Wands is like a business, entrepreneurial or like uh some sort of endeavor that you have already started and now your ships are coming in. So with this being, with the justice card being your main energy, justice is, this justice card, it's a major arcana, okay? So it's like a major life event that's taking place. And this, this is a minor arcana, but being the challenge, uh, I, I put it together like some something that was maybe not kosher. I mean, this is like legal, perhaps, is coming together, right? Or um, looking at it in a positive light, there's maybe three people. Something that you've started already that is coming into balance, okay? And it's divine, too. It's a divine thing that's bringing it into balance. So the ships are coming in. Your ships are finally coming in. Um, I, it could be a support rather than a challenge. Let's see what's in your subconscious, okay? Ooh, oh my goodness. Okay, so something, see this, this is interesting. This is the King of Swords. King of Swords is legal. 
This is the lawyer, the doctor, the one who goes by the books. There's truth. See that? Is it a, yeah, raven. The raven talks about truth. Okay, so some sort of truth is going to be revealed. And this being in your subconscious, this is like your energy. This is your energy, your way. And with the justice card being the main energy, all things look pretty good for you. Let's see what's in the past, the recent past. Ah, oh, yeah, the strength card. Strength, this is another major arcana, okay? Strength is like the strength of will. You've probably gone through some things that has made you, you know, like, bulk up. <laughs> you know, like, work out your, your spiritual muscles so that you can... Um, whatever it was that took place, it's like it had to happen so that you could get into this uh, this energy, the strength card. This is um, this depiction. It's so beautiful because it's like a a maiden, you know, a, a young lady that's very delicate, right? But she's able to um, calm a, a lion, you know, something a creature that's very massive, very um, dangerous, <laughs> but you're able to, it's the strength of will, pretty much. And that came in to your past energy that's influencing this. So I don't know, this looks pretty interesting. For, for a weekend, what's going on with y'all? Tell me. Oh, nice. Okay, okay, okay. So in your awareness, you have the Ten of Cups. This is total emotional fulfillment, happiness. Um, oh my, oh wow. Somebody getting married this weekend. <laughs> if the Hierophant comes in, I know somebody's getting married this weekend. Um, and I'm not mad at you because, hey, we, we are experiencing some really, really tough times. I mean, yeah, we are. We're in the pandemic. So every, all of us have been called to be a little stronger, you know, have a little more, um, what is the word? Resilience. Yeah. And this is a family card. The Ten of Cups. You found the emotional fulfillment within yourself, but... You've also found it, you know, with and sharing it with someone else. And um, with the Justice card, the King of uh, Swords right here, and even the Three of Wands, this is like a union, some sort of a union. And it's not just a union between you and someone else. This is community because this is the Three of, the three of Wands. It's like you're in agreement with someone else. And the community is in agreement with you too. Ah, I like it. I like it. Oh, oh, this is this is even better. So you have star power, healing, healing energy. This is um, the star card. This is another major arcana. And um, with this energy coming in, whatever this is that you have going on. This is your reward. You have gone through whatever you've gone through, and now you're given the a gift, you know, it's, and it's it's more than something that's tangible. It's something that's working in you and through you, and you're putting it back out into the world as a gift to the world, yourself. <laughs> Yes, see, because this is the star card, um, that's people are looking at you and seeing a transformation, a change that has, um, you know, made you different, made you better. And uh, it's like the universe is saying, well done, well done. Yeah, because your community, everyone is, is celebrating you. Okay, okay, okay. Who are you? What you got going on? Okay. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the Six of Wands. This is your energy that's influencing this. This is the victory card. So yeah, you went through something, right? You you had to, this card, you had to, um, you came up with, with something, right? You had some sort of idea and you put it out there in, in the world and you had to make some decisions about how the things were gonna get done. And you came back to your um, to your home, a, a victorious um, leader, winner. You won, and um, that's what's influencing this. So you are you're you're doing you're doing some great things. I mean, I don't really know how to say it any better than you're really doing some good stuff here because there's nothing that's negative here. You've put your thinking cap on. That's what this King of Swords is. That's like how you operate. This is how you have gone about. And I'm not saying that this is how you operate all the time because you might not. I mean, we're, we're not static creatures. We, you know, change with different circumstances. But in this situation, in whatever this endeavor is, you were on the top of your game, you know, the king, okay? Not the, <clears throat> not the student, not the knight. You, you were the, the, the lawyer, right? And um, what you did, <clears throat> excuse me, what you did, it created something great in the world and you were victorious in it. So let's see what's in your environment. Temperance. Okay, so this could be, this is another major arcana. You have a lot of major arcanas here. That's crazy. You have a lot of, there's the strength card, the justice card, the star card, and now temperance. Okay, there's a lot that I want to say here. This is in your environment. This could be how someone is looking at you, or it could be someone in your environment. But what's important about this is, this is the archangel that's giving instructions. The instruction is to be temperate, to be um, moderate in all of your in all of your ways. Okay, stay in balance because what has happened, you've done the the work and you have to make sure that you're staying you're not um doing too much here and doing too much there um and because this is like an entrepreneurial card it's almost like a warning to say slow down you know don't overdo it make sure that you're getting rest <laughs> relaxation it is the weekend you know take a day off take a couple of hours off I mean, I'm preaching to the choir here, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. But the, this is a, this is instructions from your guides that is um, saying, hey, we got your back. You're doing great. You look good. You have won the victory. You, you got what you wanted. And um, now just maintain, um, Maintain in that, you know, be watchful. Look at look at what you've um, done. And sometimes you don't have to keep going hard. Sometimes you can just slow it down a little bit. All right, so, ah, okay. So what you're afraid of, what you should not be afraid of is um, the death card, okay? The death card is a transition. You're afraid of something coming to an end. You're afraid of going through that, um, that phase of something ending. But here's the thing about it. Everything comes to an end. And when things come to an end, other things are um, you know, able to be born. So don't be afraid. I mean, you can be afraid if you want to. That's your business. <laughs> It is. It's your business if you want to be afraid. Um, but fear is, an, is, a, is a low vibrational energy that 
can make you stagnant. It can, instead of um, allowing you to keep the momentum, it makes you pause. So just be careful, you know, take the advice of the archangel to do everything in moderation, allow things to happen. And if, you know, something has to come to an end, just let it, don't fight against the current, you know, go with the flow. All right, so, oh, 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 oh my gosh, you got another major arcana. This is the sun card. This is the happiest, most cel celebratory card in the deck. Yeah, this is like, yeah, you did win and you're gonna keep winning and you're gonna keep winning and you're gonna keep winning and you're gonna keep winning. Gonna keep winning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and this, this card, when I see it, I always think of the, the most high. And check out my shirt, okay? Stay prayed up. This is a nobility lifestyle um, brand shirt. That is a message. Make sure that you're going to the altar. Make sure that you are making supplications and saying thank you, okay? You aren't here alone. You do have guidance. You know that. And I, I'm not preaching to you. You know, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. What I'm saying is I know that it's easy to get into this habit of just getting up and doing what you do, you know, because it's you. But you have to remember that there are things that you can't see with these oculars, okay, that's taking place around you. And the current that's moving through you is asking you to commune with it. And it's all around us. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, stay prayed up. Be the one that's um, saying thank you to the most high for your victories, for your wins. All right, okay. So like I said on the bottom, there's the seven of cups that's confusion it's just a little bit of you know mystery you don't really know what's going on maybe you don't know what you're going to be doing this weekend maybe you don't have an idea of how things are going to play out but this looks really good this looks very very good and it looks like there's some major changes taking place in your life because of all of these major arcanas you have one two three four five six out of a 10 card spread. I think that's pretty major. It is major, it's super major. So I'm gonna put out um, an energy oracle card. Let's just see what the temperature is, okay? Let's see what the temperature is for the weekend. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. So y'all tell me, tell me what this is, okay? <laughs> I gotta know, I gotta know. Are y'all getting married? I mean, what's happening? <laughs> who's um who's who's this for who is this for all right Ooh. <laughs> well let me tell you you already know that not everything is rainbows and butterflies right you know that but we love when they come around you know, not everybody loves rainbows and butterflies. Isn't that something? But you know what I'm saying. Not every not every moment of the day is, um, you know, on the top. We go through ebbs and flows, okay? And there's different things, different people that come into our, our life. And it just is what it is, right? So the energy that you want to be mindful of, and I'm not saying to invest any amount of energy into this. I'm just saying be aware because it could be you or it could be someone else. Okay. So <laughs> the energy oracle is envy. You could be the envy of the town because you're the star. You could be um, having some psychic attacks people talking shit <laughs> because they see what you have going on and um, they don't like that you're a winner. 
because when there's a winner, there's also losers. And losers, there are some, some losers that can't really take being losers. There, there's, um, you know, sore losers. But then there are some losers that learn from their, their losses and they become winners, right? It's just, uh, you know, it just depends on people. This lady, <clears throat> this lady is not happy. She looks like an uh, old maid, you know, like uh, somebody who's um, occur uh, incurred a couple of losses in her life. And um, she's been tucked away in her darkness, dark, dark place, no smiles. And outside of her own dwelling, there's um, this golden city. That's where you are. See the sun out there? That's where you, that's where you are. But here's the thing. Remember, you are out there enjoying the sun, enjoying the victories. And this person, I can't tell what it is that she's holding, but it's something. It's almost like she's, she's, Put, it, it's, it looks like um, incense or something like that. And that, to me, gives an indication of, you know, somebody that's putting out, putting out something. And since this is envy, it's like putting out negative stuff. But you stay in balance, okay? You stay, um, you stay good because you have the, the protection of your archangels. You have the protection of the Most High. You have the protection of your community. You have no reason to worry. And look what's on the bottom. Oh. It's the man holding a coin. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then you have the woman holding the coin. It's a match. It's a match. So um, I think I'm going to leave it there. I think this looks so good. Have a great weekend. Have a wonderful weekend. And um, tell me how things are going to go with this because um, it looks good. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, just reach out. Um, my information is in the bio wherever you're watching this. So, But I'll tell you, you can find me on Facebook at Rena D Cherish Daily Tarot. You can find me at that everywhere. Um, YouTube, Instagram, I think even Twitter. And I'm not really there a lot. But anyway, um, if you would like, if you don't have, if you don't have Facebook, you can email me at um, Cherish Daily at Outlook.com. And just you know, send me a little message and say, hey, um, I'd like a personal reading. But if you go over to Facebook, you can find my schedule. You can find my um, all my information and all that stuff. So do that. Um, I look forward to the next weekend and we have the month coming up of August. And um, that means 12 videos. So be on the lookout for your sign. All right. Okay. Namaste. Peace.